Hey, what up, you guys? This is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Knights of the I'm City. Coming to our space, you steal cars, you deal dope. So now you got to pay. Now, this is a movie I was looking for for probably a couple months, maybe like five months or something. The reason I was looking for it is it's produced by Michael Franzesi, who was a real life mobster who produced uh, Savage Streets, uh, Mausoleum, and this one. It's just interesting to me that it was actually produced by the Mafia. I don't know why, but it's just interesting. And then also just because I love Savage Streets, I just like, let me see what else this guy's made. So this was okay. It was kind of like, it's a little bit of mix, like kind of like between the Warriors and um, like flash dance or something. <laughs> and it has uh, the fat boys in and it's got Curtis Blow in there. Even like Smokey Robinson is in this thing. And yeah, it was okay. It wasn't like the best movie I ever saw, but the, the soundtrack on this thing is fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to look for the soundtrack because it is amazing. So anyways, let's get into the plot and uh, this will not contain spoilers. So what it is, is it's these group of gang, it's these like misfit gang member, like super 80s cheesy gang member kids, like with fucking face paint on their face and stuff. They're running around, um, I don't know, just causing trouble and stuff. And anyways, uh, they're talented. They got music going on too. So one night... They all, they all end up in jail. They're singing in the jail cell. And there's a uh, drunk music executive in the next cell. And he hears it and he gives them all the, his business card. We're in jail. We're in jail because we failed. But there was just one day that I will always remember. In 81, the third day of September, with my brand new Julie. Going to rob this door. Going to get a quick yard or even more. Next thing you know, they're on their way up in Hollywood, um, and they're just kind of like doing their music thing, and then at the same time, there's the old gang that they have a rival with, and they have to decide, like, all right, are we gonna keep doing our music, or are we gonna go back to our old ways and fucking, I don't know, get in trouble with gang violence and shit. And that's as much as I'm gonna say. Um, so anyways, yeah, this movie, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's worth watching. It's worth buying for around like $15 or something. Don't spend. People are selling this thing for like $50 to $75. Don't pay that. But if, if you can find it for like a good price, get it. And I think it's supposed to be out on Blu-ray soon too from Code Red or something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to look for the soundtrack. That's the main reason to watch this movie is the soundtrack. So as a movie itself, I would give it 3.5 out of 5. But because the soundtrack is so good, I'm going to bump it up to 4 out of 5 stars. That's Knights of the City. Yeah, this movie is nowhere near as good as Savage Streets, but it is definitely entertaining. Alright guys, this is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash. Let me know what you think of Knights of the City. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.